Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are On, on the, the Off-Ramp. Ramp. And we are so excited to share with you some of the upgrades we're going to be making to our vintage leisure travel van. Today we are installing two solar flex panels by Xantrex. They are 110 watts each. We're especially thankful to Sandy Johnson for sharing her expertise as we work alongside her on this project. It will change the way we boondock. But now I want you to see what it's like for Wade and I to do some dry camping on the setup that we've created. So there's some, I don't know what do you call these, puck lights, AAA batteries in there. Just Yeah, just LED puck lights. So we have those in the ceilings underneath our cupboards. This lantern is usually our outdoor lantern for when we're doing stuff in the dark outside. But we use that inside when we're dry camping and it works. It lights up our place quite nice. And then we have some more of those puck lights. So the 300 watt inverter that Wade installed this year, that will run a CPAP for at least one night. At least one night. Two yeah. maybe. And then you can see that I got a white cord. That's my Apple Watch and it's charging. We have the Jackery along which helps Wade run his laptop and it's 100% charged. We're ready for the demands on that and also Wade uses it to run the CPAP. And we can use it for charging things. And you want to, yeah. Oh, yeah, we charge our stuff on there. Yeah. And I usually make coffee with a little coffee maker if we have electricity. But if not, I can just heat it up on our two-burner stove. It just warm up some water. And I have a drip-through coffee maker. And then our furnace. The oh, thermostat. yeah, the furnace thermostat that we will have on the gas heater. So that's how we can warm up our van. And it was chilly tonight, and the gas heat it's works supposed really to well. Down. It's supposed to go down to about uh, six or seven degrees Celsius tonight, so. And we do have a space heater we use when we are hooked up to shore power, correct? Yeah, but now we have a propane furnace, but the electric or the battery will use power to blow the fan, to use oh, the fan yeah. for the electric so heat or for the gas heat, so. Yeah, so when we use that, it's still drawing from the battery is what That's you're right. saying. Does the fridge draw from our existing? Uh, the only way is when we open the door and we have a light on inside the fridge, oh, then okay. the fridge draws. But now we're running the fridge just with gas. Now, this is all boondocking and dry camping. This, this is, is us. Not, yeah, this is us. We think we've got a pretty good setup. Yeah, we, we've got we a good setup, we, but we, we can can't last. last long. We've got two deep cycle batteries that are run there in the back of the coach. We are in the middle of making plans of making some changes. And yeah. everything will run off of the battery in the future. So, yeah. As much as we think we've got dry camping done pretty well with the setup we have, we know from other people and other ways of doing things, there are lots of new ways to set this up. What? Good trip? Oh yeah, we love driving anywhere. We love you just because of the Life is Good t-shirts. You should see how many we have. <laughs> That's all I wear. <laughs> oh, yeah, or I college can... football team. Oh yeah, there oh, you yeah. go. Yeah, there's that too, isn't there? Yeah. yeah I'm so... Sandy. I'm Wade. Nice to meet you, Wade. Nice to, meet nice you to too. finally meet you. And I'm Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you too. Oh, this is great. I feel like I'm meeting a famous person. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, what's really funny is when uh, you did text Wade, I just, or messaged him, I was like, I, I know that name. I've been yeah. watching her. I've been seeing her stuff. She's so helpful on Facebook for all these people that ask dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're true. so good. Yeah, well, I just try to help. You do. <laughs> all right, well, let's see what we can get done. Look, we're starting our project. Sandy's getting the ladder up, and the very first thing is to avoid some weather issues. So we're going to try to get the solar panels up on that roof. But one of the ways to get the solar panels up is to get rid of that wine guard tv tenna which we have never used so we're glad to get that off of the roof and wade's working on the inside here to remove the i don't know the crank so yeah, there's going to be a hole on the top of the roof where he's and, removing uh, that antenna that's not going to be a problem sandy says she's got some stuff that she's going to use to create the patch so wade's got to get the putty off of the roof where the um antenna was all right we're going to use a piece of cardboard stick it to that mess because we want to use that metal plate as a template for the for covering the hole on the roof after all we do have to not have a hole on the roof yeah we don't want to turn it over we get a marker a hole on the roof. mark where the holes are on the original metal plate and so the template that sandy makes will have the same holes and we can reuse the screws okay so once you've got that cut out sandy and screwed on what do you what do you do to seal the edges of it some stuff called die core. Die core. It's it's a uh, it's this white goofy stuff. Oh, so what I would have called just putty or whatever, but but it's it's special for the roof. It's a UV 
you know, UV rated. Um, okay. It, uh, it, well, it's called self-leveling, which means oh, you just wow. squeeze it out and it just spreads fill, itself. Fills. Yeah, fills. As it dries. Right. And does it have to cure? Or? It does. It has, it, uh, it'll, it'll get a skin on it in 24 hours, but it takes five days to cure. And it doesn't matter if it rains in between. No, uh, once it gets that skin, it'll oh, be fine. Okay. This is called butyl tape. Okay. And it's like, oh, a putty. Okay. kind of a tapey stuff but it seals so i'm going to have wade go around the hole okay and then i'm going to also put this around where the the screw holes are going okay. to be in that panel so then when we put it on it will all be sealed okay so this is little tape wade okay it's just like a putty tape yeah i want you to put it around the hole well, right on the on edge. The inside of the hole? No, just, just okay. on top, okay. right around the hole. All right. To, you know, yeah. to, as a water barrier. Yep. Makes sense. I mean, you can even put it, you know, some over, whatever you want to do. So we took the antenna off. I'm putting gumbo sticky stuff around the edges. We're going to put a metal plate over top. we got one more hole to cover there, and then we'll re-screw everything in and seal those up as well, too. And uh, we no longer have an antenna, but we have room for two solar panels on our roof. So when we screw the holes in, it'll squish it down. And that's the same tape we just put on the roof. Right. I assume the hole in the roof is this size. No, but it's no, not. No, no, it's just a little It's just small. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, the plate is ready. The plate, the plate is ready. It's all gummed up. Okay, now you got to make sure you line up the holes. Yes. Do you want to screw or maybe start the screws? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too. So he's making sure that he's lining up the holes. Our template is absolutely perfect. So if he can't do it, it will be on him. <laughs> here as we get power from the sun nice All right, hey wade's first, gonna figure it out first i'm gonna test the voltage as sandy checked the voltage of the solar panels i stayed on the roof and kept on cleaning so that we would have nothing underneath the panels when they were being mounted we don't put new holes in the roof sandy if says we can help it so we're gonna find a way to get those up there and stay up there without adding holes. Wade's pondering how he's gonna position oh, we'll them. Find a way. We're using Eternabon oh. tape. Eternabon, got it. And okay. this, it means it, okay? Okay, got Once it. you put it down, it's not coming up. Based on drone footage, we believe that these two panels would fit on that roof. And Wade says they fit within a quarter of an inch. Well, we're just hoping these two don't slide off of that roof. But they're negotiating exactly the position of each of the solar panels and then taping them down. So they work together on getting them up there. So we'll get those done so we don't have to worry about doing that in the rain that's supposed to be coming in the next couple of days. Once we established the location of each solar panel on the roof, and really we only had about a quarter to half an inch to work with, uh, then we began to tape it down with the Eternabon tape. And that really held well. Well, I, I can, I could get this far if you can get the rest of it. Yeah, I can reach over here. Okay. All right, let me get this started. Okay, the main thing is, let's get it set on the panel. Yeah. Okay, you do that. Okay. Okay, Wade's getting ready to drill some holes, what, in the roof? Yeah, in the roof. And they can they don't need to be any wider than this to allow the cables to go from the solar panels and into our van. And I'll show what we did solar panel wise today. Yeah, go show that. And there was our project for today, getting the solar panels on. Well, so that's 220 watts of solar power. We are drilling a hole from the roof down to just below our kitchen cupboards and there's room to run the wires in between there to where our solar panel controller will be uh, mounted. The cupboard, the top shelf didn't move out but there is wiring behind that panel. So Wade's going to remove that and that'll help us run some of the wiring that we need to from the solar panels. Here 
we go. And that's what's in behind. These are MC4 connectors that attach the solar panels to the Well, yeah. to the solar controller and then to oh. the battery. And Wade just drilled a hole in our roof into our kitchen cupboard, which had a lot of space between that and the vinyl before we could find the way to get the hole through. But Sandy's up there. She's feeding the wires through whatever hole up there Wade has drilled. And he's on the inside gathering up whatever she sends through. All right. one at a time. Now it's going to be hard for him to find it behind the vinyl. Are you sure you got enough through? Can you feel the wire poking? I can feel it. Let me get something so I can poke it down. Hold on, let me get something. Okay, okay new hole. <laughs> yeah, that's close, yeah. Yeah, so that we're through there. All right, I'm going to try to stick one wire through. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, let me bring the red through. All right. Okay, so the black is through. I think, uh, hang on a second, you might be poking another hole. Okay, I just see the end of it there. Can you push a little more? Uh, push it down just a little bit. Oh, okay, can you, uh, okay, hang on a second. I wanna make room for it. Uh, no, just leave it right there. Okay, push it down. There we go, got it. Red is through. And here come the red and the black cables. So that was a bit of a threading miracle happening there as they were All trying right, to- take the black down. Aim them. Okay. All right, that'll be good. That looks like that looks like more than enough cable to do the job. Yeah. Is there a cable here? After a few hours, <laughs> <laughs> we installed um, a solar power. That's the solar panel disconnect power disconnect switch. That's on the red wire of the solar panels coming down from the roof, and then the black and the red wire for the solar panels feed in to the underneath of the bottom of the Zan tracks and then new wires feed from the battery connections on the solar controller down and I will attach them to the Victron dual bus bars um, after I get my other wires together. In our next video, Wade and Sandy get underneath the van and start running cables from front to back. We prepare to install the Xantrax 12 volt, 240 amp hour lithium ion battery to the back of the van. Sandy removes the old electrical panel and replaces it with a brand new electrical panel. And lastly, the Xantrax 2000 watt inverter is wired and the inverter battery disconnect switch is hooked up and the Xantrax MPPT controller is fired up and we're ready to go. Thank you for watching today's video as we install the Xantrax off-grid system in our vintage laser travel van. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we will be doing the final installations and firing up the entire system.